Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. It's Eric Evanstead here, and in this video, we're gonna talk about outsourcing. And in particular, I wanna share with you my seven must-have tools for working with and managing virtual assistants on the other side of the globe. These are the tools that I use every single day, and they really make a massive impact. So if you're thinking about hiring a virtual assistant or you've hired one in the past and you've struggled to uh, get good results with that hire, this is the video for you. So at this point, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share my screen and walk you through my seven must-have tools. Number one, Google Workspace, formerly called G Suite. Uh, this is the tool that I use to set up my business email address. Okay, and the really cool thing about this is I can set up uh, my business email address. In my case, my company is Bootstrap Website. So I, I set up an email address at, with Google Workspace for eric at bootstrapwebsites.com. And with Google Workspaces, you get a, a business email address, you get a calendar, you get Google Drive, you get Google Meet, which is like a, it's a video, it's like Zoom for video calls, you get Google Chat. Um, and so I set all of that up in Google Workspace. And then when I hire a virtual assistant, I can easily go in and create an account for them. So first name at mydomainname.com, they get uh, an email address and they get a calendar and access to my Google Drive and I can choose exactly what I wanna share with them. So I put all of my business docs in Google Drive. I put my calendar events in Google Calendar and I'm easily able to share what I want to share with them and it's completely seamless and really pretty affordable. It's uh, under $10 per user per month. I think it's actually like $6 maybe. And this is just an absolute must have. The other really cool thing about this is if um, I ever, you know, fire my virtual assistant or if they quit on the spot or disappear, I can easily go in and figure out what they were working on. I can get access to their Google Drive, to their email, all that sorts of things. So it does just give a little bit of a, um, a backup plan in case things go south. So this is the, the tool that I start with. With every virtual assistant, I go and I create their email address, their Google Drive, and share everything that needs to be shared with them. The next tool that I use is called ClickUp. Uh, and this is, if you're familiar with Asana, it's kind of like an alternative to Asana. I just like it more because it's more robust. Um, and it's really easy to use once you get the hang of it. But ClickUp is kind of like a project management tool and you'll have to set up an account for you and your virtual assistant. But then once you get in there, you can easily go create tasks for them and assign your tasks to your virtual assistant. You can create recurring tasks. You can uh, upload your SOP, standard, standard operating procedures, right into ClickUp. Everything can be organized right in here and they can ask questions in ClickUp. Uh, it's kind of a one-stop shop for that project management and really managing the day-to-day -day activities of your virtual assistant. So I'll go into this in another video of how I really use ClickUp to manage my VAs, uh, but this is a, for me, a must have. Asana is good too. I just prefer ClickUp after using both of them and it's pretty darn affordable. It's $5 per user. So if you're just having one uh, virtual assistant, it's just gonna be 10 bucks per month. Very affordable, but a must have tool. The next tool in my little toolbox is a screen recording tool. So it really makes it helpful when you're trying to train a virtual assistant or teach them something new or um, give them feedback on, the, on a task that maybe they didn't do perfectly. It's really helpful to be able to share your screen and record a video walking through a specific process. So the tool that I use is Screencast-O-Matic. I've just been using it for years and it works really well for me. I like it because you can edit videos in here. You create a video and then you can upload it so that all you have to do is send a link to your virtual assistant and they can view it. Um, I, I just really like Screencast-O-Matic, but another really popular one is Loom. Um, Price-wise, I think they're pretty similar. Uh, let's see what pricing is on Screencast-O-Matic. All you really need is like their, their basic plan here. So that's going to be $3 a month if you pay annually. So it, it's really pretty dirt cheap, 36 bucks for the year. Uh, Loom is, you're not going to be able to do this one, I don't think, because um, you're going to have more videos than that. And it has a limit of five minutes per video. So you're going to be looking at $8 per month if you pay annually. So you're going to save a little bit of money with Screencast-O-Matic, and I think it works just as well. Uh, I actually like it better. 
So that's the tool that you know I use for those screen recordings and it is gonna be absolutely essential. Another tool for creating those training docs and those uh, SOPs or standard operating, standard operating procedures is gonna be a cool tool like Tango. Okay, so what Tango does is it essentially creates the step-by-step -step processes of important tasks. So what you do is you set up Tango and then you go through and you do a task on your computer. Okay, so whatever that task may be that your virtual assistant is gonna be in charge of, you're gonna actually go through that task while Tango is in the background documenting each step, right? And so you go through and do the task, and then at the end, it's gonna create automatically the step-by-step -step instructions. So here's one, how to share a Google Calendar. Uh, it's an example on their website. Navigate to Google Calendar, and you can add a link in here. Click on the options button next to your calendar, big old arrow there, click on settings and sharings, and so forth and so on. And so whatever the task is, it'll document it just like this. Uh, and all you have to do is go through and do the task once on your screen while Tango works in the background. So this is a really handy tool that I've only recently started using, uh, but I find that it's really helpful when you're working with virtual assistants uh, to have a video uh, walkthrough as well as a written walkthrough like this. Because a lot of virtual assistants that you're gonna be working with will not speak English as their native language. So I work with virtual assistants in the Philippines primarily, and I found that just having the written instructions as well is really great for them to be able to refer back to on a daily basis uh, to make sure that they're doing the task correctly. Okay, so they really tend to appreciate this from my experience. So I like to have the video and the written options for training. It all comes down to training with virtual assistants. If you train them well, uh, set expectations and tell them exactly how you want them to perform their daily tasks, you're gonna get excellent results. You have to invest that time up front though, uh, and these are the tools that are most necessary. The next one is Google Chat. And so for Google Chat, I'm using this primarily as a way to communicate in real time with my virtual assistants. If I just need to um, send them a quick message that says, hey, we, I just created a new ClickUp task. Can you please go check it out and let me know if you have any questions? Or if I have a question about a task that they're working on or when they might be finished or really anything like that for those quick responses where I don't wanna wait on a ClickUp comment. I can just come in here. I instruct my virtual assistants to keep Google Chat open whenever they're working um, so I can see when they're online and I can quickly communicate back and forth. This one is absolutely necessary. And once you set up all your tasks and SOPs and ClickUp, I think you're gonna find that you do most of your communicating through something like Google Chat, okay? The next tool, absolute must have, is something like LastPass. Basically, it's just a password management tool. And the great thing about this is it allows you to save your passwords for different tools and apps that you use in your business. And then it allows you to share that login information with your virtual assistant without them actually seeing your password. So the beauty of this is they don't see your password and you can also revoke that access at any time. If they quit, if they start not performing well, um, if you have to fire them, you can quickly remove their access to all of your uh, business related apps and accounts. What you have to do for this is set up an account, have them set up a free account as well. You'll go to the websites, um, that you wanna give them access to, you'll log in, you'll save it to LastPass, and then through LastPass, uh, you can go in and share that access with your virtual assistant. And I have another video, uh, which I'll try to link to down below about how exactly I use LastPass. It kind of walks through the step-by-steps of it all, but just know that this is really important and it's much better to share your login access via something like LastPass than actually share your username and password more security, which is always a good thing when you're working with somebody that you've never actually met in person and that works on the other side of the globe. The last tool that I wanna to talk about is WISE. It used to be called TransferWISE, they just changed their name, but WISE.com, this is the best tool by far that I found for paying my virtual assistants. And the best thing that you can do to keep your virtual assistants happy and working hard for you and um, just doing great work is to pay them on time every time. And if you can pay them while reducing their fees, they like you a lot more. And so I used to use PayPal, but uh, my virtual assistants kept telling me like PayPal is 
charges such high fees, it takes a massive chunk out of our paycheck. Um, and uh, they started asking me to start using TransferWise, or WISE as they call it now. And so I started using it and I've fallen in love. It's super easy. The fees are really low. Um, and this is the tool that I highly recommend. Uh, go set up an account. It's totally free uh, to set up your account and uh, very simple to get up and running. So those are the tools that I found are the absolute most important. They're the must haves. If you don't have those tools, you're really going to struggle with outsourcing. Your virtual assistants aren't going to give you the results that you're looking for. So make sure that you set up these, these tools right here. Um, and then if you don't have a virtual assistant already, I have a bonus tool for you today, and that is onlinejobs.ph. Onlinejobs.ph is where I go to find all of my virtual assistants. So I post my job on here. I get dozens of applicants applying for my job. I, I conduct my interviews, um, ask questions, communicate with them all through this tool. It is an absolute game changer. Um, and it, all you do is you pay during the time that you're hunting for a virtual assistant or searching for a virtual assistant. Uh, once you're done, you can turn off your, your subscription and you don't pay anymore. So it's very cost effective um, and a tool that I love. And if you want to learn more about how I find virtual assistants using onlinejobs.ph, check out the video right above. Uh, we've broken it down. It's an oldie but a goodie. This is um, kind of walks through my process for finding virtual assistants here. So make sure you check that out. And until next time, have a great day.